Hello YouTube, it's Krosama, and here I have today from the Master Grade line is the Gundam Dynamis. So this mobile suit, oh my god, it is fantastic, and I'm probably going to be overly positive throughout this entire review because this kit was so, just super enjoyable to build, um, and it's kind of rare for me to actually build a mobile suit and just like be so eager to get onto the next part to always want to see the completed kit. Um, I don't really have that with a lot of mobile suits. It's usually like I want to build it and I'm going to really enjoy it and I can't wait to see it's completed. But this one, I was just like, you know, at the edge of my seat, like, oh my God, I want to hurry up and finish this. And the final product is super beautiful. But I'm not going to go ahead and bore you with all my final thoughts right now at the beginning of the video. I would like to go ahead and show you everything about this mobile suit throughout this video. But first, let me go ahead and give a thanks to the sponsor. So I want to thank New Type HQ for sponsoring this video, and if you want to pick up this kit or any other kits along the same line, you can definitely go to their website and pick up anything and utilize that code Krosama for 10% off. So on to the review. So the first thing we take a look at is all the details. So take a look at the head sculpt first. What you're going to see is tons of color separation with these parts. So all this gray plastic, all the green you know more gray plastic up there with all the white it's just gonna look really good overall now I did paint the eyes but it is gonna have stickers for those I also painted the back camera with blue but it is gonna come with a sticker and with this mobile suit it is gonna have a little gimmick where you just pull down this little piece it's a little bit tricky sometimes uh, and then you're gonna reveal the scope so this camera just allows him to, you know, pretty much zoom in even further, much like a sniper would. And it's gonna be a clear part that goes right inside there, but I decided to just paint it with a uh, metallic blue, and it has a good reflective kind of uh, glare to it. So that's why I really went with that, but if you want to use the sticker that comes with it, you could definitely do that as well. And the body is also gonna look very good with all that color separation, so you're gonna have some of that yellow inside the vent, you got all the gray, the white, the red, green, it's just going to look really good overall. Uh, also, it is going to have a cockpit gimmick, pretty much like all master grades. Uh, so you slide that open, and you're gonna slide this down here. And inside there is going to be lock on strats, but it's very dark because he's kind of pushed a little bit far back in there. So unless you just shine a flashlight right inside, uh, then you can see him. Otherwise, he's not really going to be too visible. Uh, but his scope is going to be right there in front of him. And you are going to have a clear green piece that's going to go right in the center of the chest. And here on the side, you're going to get some of that holographic plastic. And on the back side, you are going to have the GN drive. So it's going to have the same gimmick that the Exia did, uh, which is basically you could pull this out and... If you want, you can display it. However, it does not come with a display stand, much like the Exia does. But you can put two LEDs right inside here to illuminate both sides. Uh, but I'll showcase that a little bit later in the video. And you can also pull out this part of the GN drive. Now the turbine right inside there, I painted mine green. Uh, you can do the same thing. It's going to be molded in gray. Uh, but if you do it, I would say you know maybe go a little bit brighter than what I did. Now looking at the arms, they're all going to be molded in nice white and gray and green plastic. Uh, so nothing really too spectacular here. You are just going to have some nice little details right here in the shoulder. Uh, but other than that, there's not going to be too many details, at least here on the side of the arm. So you do get a couple of panel lines which you can fill in. Uh, other than that, you are going to get a little green you know, clear piece right there for the side of the arm. And also, once again, that holographic piece that's going to be right there where the elbow is. Now the waist is going to have plenty of gimmicks that's going to be built into it. Uh, so for the front, it's going to look pretty decent. Very minimum you know, details right there on the surface. But what this thing does have are going to be the GM missiles. So with these, they're supposed to be red. Um, it's all going to be gray plastic, but you can definitely use maybe a Gundam marker or some paint and you can paint those red like they're intended to be. And on the back side is going to be the GN veneer. So with these, they are basically the thrusters to the mobile suit. And the gimmick it has is you can open these up and the overall mobility will be increased and just the GN particle output will be increased as well. So that looks pretty damn cool and it's such a nice little gimmick for this mobile suit. And we're taking a look at the legs. The legs are going to be super nice and dynamic. Um, I love the overall sleek design right here. Uh, the little thickness up here to the thighs are very much appreciative as well. It's also going to have some of this holographic film up here in the thigh. And it's also going to have some right here in the shin area. And also this is going to have that gimmick that you can pull this out, pull that down, 
and then voila, you are going to have more of those GN missiles. Now this is going to be molded in gray, so I decided to go ahead and paint it orange, but I didn't have any orange paint, so I just mixed uh, red matter and yellow together and created that orange color. So if you do want to paint this and you don't have orange, hey, mix up some colors. If not, uh, definitely pick up some orange paint and go to town. Now for hands, these are going to be interchangeable, so we're going to start off with the closed fist right here, but you could definitely take these out and it's going to be able to easily plug in right into the palm. Next is going to be open expressive hands. These grip hands for the beam sabers. And hands with trigger fingers, it's going to be for the pistols as well as the sniper rifle. And it's going to come with a mini lock on figure, which yeah, my painting skills need a lot of work, but regardless, it was some good, you know, experience, and I'm definitely going to try harder next time. And you're going to get a connector piece that's going to allow you to connect the MG Dynamis to any compatible Bandai stand. And there's actually two spots that you can connect this piece to. So the first one's going to be here directly underneath the waist, and the other one's going to be right here underneath the thrusters. And next is going to be the articulation. So the neck joint is kind of a little gimmick right here that allows you to pull it up and you can push it back pretty far, but that's going to be for the prone position, which we are going to look into a little bit later. And for the little waist gimmick, I know a lot of people have been asking about it. We're going to explore this a little bit further, uh, but yeah, it's going to have quite a bit of range of movement. And I must say the articulation is just top notch. 10 out of 10. You, I mean, if you can think of a pose, it can do it. it. It can easily pull off anything that your mind can actually warp up. So with that, let's go ahead and move on to the shields. So first we're gonna take a look at the full shield and, and both are gonna have the same articulation and color separation. Uh, so these gray bits, this is all gonna be separate parts that go into it. And on the other side, the uh, little like silver dots, uh, I actually painted these because these are going to be separate underneath this like little block. Uh, so this full part right here collides with the underside, but it's also going to have these little bits. So I thought it would just look really cool with all that silver on the inside, uh, vice on the outside. So I just painted that silver and this gray is going to be separate parts as well. Now the articulation, this part right here can go up as well as this one, but this one can actually go down as well. So whenever he's in his little mode where he has his pistols, this is going to be able to allow him to shoot as well as block a little bit of the lower half of his body. And here's going to be the other shield. So with this one, uh, it's pretty much just gonna be one solid block, not much articulation except for right here. So this is going to have like a little hinge that you can move back and forth. Uh, it does have a little plastic piece on the inside and I did paint all that silver right inside there as well. Now for the smaller shield, it can go into any one of these little three pegs, so on the front, the side, or on the back. Now, pretty much I'm gonna keep mine on the back, but it snaps in just as easy right there. And the articulation is only gonna be limited a little bit because it's gonna be bumping into this part, uh, but overall, it's still gonna be really good. And next, the full shield is just gonna be on this little peg that you plug right inside here. And right here on the shoulder, you can actually have a little bit of articulation, so it can move back a little bit, uh, pretty much gonna be limited with this you know, little back shield, and it can go forward, so whenever we are gonna have like a little defense mode, he can actually you know guard himself. And here he is with the shield more open as well as the defense mode. And next we're gonna take a look at the GM Beam Pistol. So not really too much in terms of gimmicks, but it is going to be able to open the holstered pistol and you can pull this out. And then this is going to be stored on the side of the leg right here. Now the Beam Pistol is actually pretty sleek. It's only gonna be very few parts that's gonna make it up and it's going to have this clear piece that you basically can put a sticker either under or over it. So 
I just went ahead and put it over because I just, you know, I just didn't really care too much to, uh, to have it look all pretty. I can just easily take the sticker off and then paint it if I want to later. And with the beam pistols equipped, you are going to have some badass poses with this mobile suit. And for the beam savers, you can take these and you can rotate them forward, pull them off the little connector, fit them directly into the hand, and pop in one of the two beam effect parts. And looking at the Gene Sniper Rifle, this thing is a beauty. Uh, so it's gonna be molded in different colors. You got the back right here, the scope, as well as the bipods, uh, which will be molded in a black or very dark grayish color. And then the rest of the Sniper Rifle is going to be molded in gray, and you're all gonna have some white pieces uh, that's gonna be right inside here. Now there are parts on here that's gonna have some movement. So the back right here, which connects to the forearm, that's gonna be on a little ball joint, can slide back. The scope can move left or right. The secondary handle can move forward or backwards, and it can also move up. The bipods, these can also move down like so. And then these little parts, you can take these off and replace it with these extended parts. And when a sniper rifle is not in use, you can just mount it right up here. And it's gonna look pretty cool mounted right there on the shoulder. And so now let's get him into the prone position. And I also forgot to mention there's going to be two little holographic films right inside the uh, little connector piece as well. And it doesn't really need to like actually grip the uh, the handle. You can just have this little open hand right here and just let it hover right above it. And here it is in that sniper pose. So not really my cup of tea. I think it, I mean, definitely if you mess around with it long enough, it will look pretty cool. Uh, but overall, I'm not really too big of a fan. And all honesty, you don't really need to bend the back all the way that much. So there really wouldn't be that much of a gap. And the last thing I'm gonna talk about is going to be the green LEDs that can be used for the GN drive. You will need two LR41 batteries and a mini screwdriver. And with both LEDs in, we can now turn them on by just twisting this. And there we go. So, looks pretty good. And for comparison, here he is next to the Narrative Gundam C Packs, Steve as well as the Master Grade Exia. And these two are going to be looking really good together. And this kit is also gonna sport some pretty awesome markings that come on the sticker sheet. So going on to my final thoughts. Well, this kit is perfect. Uh, there's really nothing negative I could say, except for I kinda wish Bandai would've included you know, some water slides, but that's kinda like a given for the Master Grade line of this caliber. Uh, usually if it's something more of the Verkas side, then they'll include some uh, some water slides but for this one you know the stickers aren't bad they're not really horrible uh, so I can live with that and if anything you can just always get third party or wait for Bandai to release their own line of water slides for this kit in particular uh, but yeah other than that this kit is pretty damn perfect I love everything about it and I would I would highly encourage everyone to go out and pre-order it if this is something you would really want in your collection as well and if you do want this kit in your collection you can go to newtypehq.com and you can use that promo code Krosama to pick 
pick it up. And lastly, I would like to thank Faraz for being the first person to have a membership on my channel. Now what the membership perk is, I'm going to make a separate video on this, but essentially in a nutshell, uh, you pay five bucks a month and you get exclusive perks and access to my channel. Uh, so I'll be uploading, you know, certain exclusive type videos that are like behind the scenes or maybe extra tutorials for those members. Uh, also we'll be doing monthly live streams where you can ask me many different questions and I can, you know, have practical kind of, um, you know, application on, you know, helping you with certain issues on a kit or maybe certain painting tools. Uh, also, I will be doing giveaways for these members only. So it's not going to take away from the normal, you know, content that you see here, uh, but it's just going to be a little bit extra something for them. So everything that you're getting, all these reviews, uh, all these unboxings on this channel is still going to be uh, consistent on this side. The only, the only thing they're getting is just some extra videos that I'm going to put some work into. Um, but that's it for me, guys. If you really want to look into the membership, please look in the tab uh, and look at all the different perks that is offered. Also, they do get a separate community tag, so that way I can have uh, more of a close discussion with them. But that's it for me, guys. Definitely appreciate you for watching this video all the way to the end. And like always, please rate, comment, subscribe on this video. And you know, ring that bell for future notifications. That way you can always keep up to date to every video I post. But other than that, guys, definitely appreciate you for watching. And I'll be seeing y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.